first thing that I'm going to start with is um, the tissue paper we're going to make. We're going to make our own um, our own wrapping paper, basically. So I missed 420, so I'm going <laughs> to I'm going to do this. Okay. <laughs> getting set up. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> so I think first thing I'm going to try to do is my uh, wrapping paper, a little personalized wrapping paper. And what we can do, um, I am going to maybe put this out so that it's not so it's not burning all the way. I've got this, I've got these little, I don't know if you guys have ever tried these little baby jeter infused joints, but they're great. Because you could just take a little puppy puff and then go back to it. <sighs> Whenever you want, so you know. Okay. <clears throat> so <clears throat> I cut out, I got a sponge and I um I cut out a little leaf and a little mushroom. <clears throat> and for my mushroom, I tried to do, I don't know if you can tell. Yeah, you can kind of see. I tried to cut out some little holes to give it the look that I want. So I had this idea to try and do a, like a psychedelic mushroom. So I'm gonna pick a couple of random colors. Like I'm gonna do pink and purple and yellow and orange. And maybe black, I guess. I don't want to look at all this. But I'm gonna try to, I'm going to, what I'm gonna do is, um, in order, I'm gonna use my little mushroom sponge and I'm gonna try to make it like a psychedelic sponge. And then I'm gonna stamp it on here to make a little wrapping paper. So we'll see how my thing goes. I'm gonna pour some colors and then try to swirl them together to make it psychedelic. We'll see if that works though. This was just a thought that I had because I thought the mushrooms would be, I thought mushrooms would be cute if they could be like a little, a little swirly swirl. So I'm gonna try this and put all these colors together. Let's see if it works though. I just have a little plate here that I'm mixing my, my colors on. Nothing fancy. And this is again, just for the wrapping paper. Um, I also have another project. If you wanna try it, we're gonna use some clay. So if you wanna try another project, I'm also gonna have some clay. So, you know, grab some tissue paper, some Paint, okay, this paint doesn't like me. That's okay though, it's fine. Oh, here, make it work. And if you, yeah, please feel free to chat me with any questions. Um, I don't know, this paint is not running into my, okay. Let's use a different color. But yeah, so I'm gonna put all these on here and then swirl it and see how it ends up. Oh, there, okay. Oop. And make sure you, um, if you decide to do this, just make sure, Oops. make sure that if you decide to do this, you, um, oops. 
you don't want to use a paint that is um, acrylic. Like I'm using a washable paint for this. Um, okay. So now I have my paint colors on here and I'm just going to swirl them together to kind of make like a funky tie dye. Um, okay, now I'm going to see how this works. Oh my goodness, I think it's actually going to be really cute. Okay, here, I'm going to stamp it. Let me do like a, little, a couple of little stamps and then I'll show you how it looks. Uh, that's actually kind of fun. Okay, so I started, this is like my tester. This is my first round where I just have my tissue paper. Oh yeah, and I have like some different little colors on there. You kind of see, okay. I'm feeling it. I think I need to use less paint though. But I like the colors. It's very sunsetty. Okay. Now we're going to do the bottom half. And this is easy because you can stamp it in any pattern that you want. Oh, I think these might be better than the first ones. You can make up any pattern. You don't have to use a pattern at all. You can just stamp it all over the place. I'm currently just stamping it all over the place. <gasps> I actually really like this. So I think for this first one, okay, so this is how this first little bit turned out, which I'm kind of into. I'm feeling it, I think. So now I'm going to get another plate. And I think that for my leaf, I may just keep it simple and go with um, green. Since that'll be all swirled, I think this will be actually really cute. Okay, and then I also have my little leaf that I cut out. And I actually stenciled, like I drew mine on first and then cut it out. I haven't tested this, so we'll see if it's a good one or not. Okay. Um, yeah, and so before, like, I like to dab it around a little bit before you stamp it on just to make sure that you're not putting too much on there. Now I'm going to stamp you, stamp. So that is what this one ended up looking like. Not bad, actually. And I feel like um, like this tissue paper that I'm using is pretty lightweight, but I want it that way because then it'll add some texture when it dries. It'll give me a little bit of texture. Okay. So now I'm going to do my other mushroom stamps. I also have a little heart stamp, if you can see that. I have a little heart stamp that I made out of um, a cork. So I'm going to see how that looks too. Just try it out. Let's see. It's not bad, okay. Not too bad. Oh, they're kind of cute with the little hearts. Okay. Look how surprising it is. So we have like a little a little pattern. There's some hearts and some little mushrooms. I think the mushrooms might be one of my faves. Yeah. So I'm gonna put those on the other side now too. And then 
We will let that get drying. I actually really like this color swirling that I came up with. And if you're curious, if you want to try the color swirl technique for your mushroom, like I did, you basically just pour your paints on top of each other in different spots and then drag a toothpick. You can just drag a toothpick through it. And then that will keep it, get it all swirly, swirly looking. Okay, so we're going to leave room for a little more green on this side. Let me do this one. Okay. All right, so now I'm going to stamp on, I have, I did my little, my mushroom stamp with my sponge. And then now I'm going to do my, um, yeah, my little green, my little leafy, leafy stamp. And then I'll show you how it looks. And keep in mind, you can do this with any sort of paper that you have. If you have just like regular paper at home, you can use it on that. But then it turns anything into wrapping paper. So, you know, you can always have personalized wrapping paper. I'm going to add a couple more of these. Because, you know, it's a little plant love. Want to add some more you love? <gasps> Thank you. And so this is such, this is one of my favorite ideas. It's a good way to get some personalized, personalized things happening. Okay. So we got that. Oh, yeah. So one side is a little more mushroom heavy and the other side is a little more leaf heavy. But I do, I like that. I like it with the hearts too. Here, I'll put up a little closer. But there's the color. Oh, my wall. I just did the wall recently. I did it this past weekend. And now this is like, now it really feels like a crafting corner for me. I love it. I'm very inspired. Okay, and I'm going to add, so this is my little cork. Um, I made like a little stamp from a cork. This is a heart. I don't know if you can really tell. But I'm going to stamp a couple of little hearts because I think, the hearts add a nice little touch. I, I'm actually very pleased with how this wrapping paper turned out because I wasn't sure with the mushrooms how it was going to look because I have never tried those before. Like, I've never done handmade stamps on it, but I actually really like this. Oh, my goodness. What a fun little thing. Okay. So... This is the wrapping paper. Well, this is tissue paper, but you can see the little mushrooms. I think the mushrooms are my favorite. They came out really, and I even, you can even kind of almost see the holes that I put in there. Kind of, not really, <laughs> but that's okay. I tried. So that's, oh, that, like, we're just going to let that dry. We're going to let that dry. And I have my stamps, so maybe I'll do some more too. Um, but I actually want to get working on another one because I have this. Um, oh, the materials. You just need sponges. Like I just used a sponge and uh, plain paper. So tissue paper or if you've got, um, you know, sometimes they stuff your boxes with that brown paper. I love using that because it's nice and sturdy. Um, but yeah, just cut sponges to whatever shape you want. And use those as your stamp to make your own your own little wrapping paper. So yeah, easy materials. You don't really need you don't need much, um, which is nice. And this next thing I'm doing, you only need clay. So um, I have air dry, like I have this tub o clay, but you can use whatever kind of clay. And I've got and I made this incense holder. It's a flower. So you can see there's like a little hole in the middle, but generally it just looks like a cute little flower. So another planty idea that we're going to work on. I was going to try to do a mushroom too, but uh, it, the, I don't know. I feel like a mushroom would be harder. <laughs> um, so, and I'll, you know what, actually I will in the chat, I will type what we, what you need. Um, so for the wrapping paper, you just need doo -doo -doo. wrapping paper. Um, you just need please. 
and sponges. Okay. Um, okay, so the next thing that I have that you can do, and this one's gonna take me a little bit longer, but that's okay, because that's what we're here for. I'm gonna have a little sparky uppy before um, I start, before I get going in my sculpting. I'm not the greatest sculptor, so. I have these Z Skittles, um, Baby Jeters is what I'm working with right now. And these are lovely because, and so they're nice for sessions because I can like have a couple puffs, things. Chat. What you for the wrapping paper for your tissue paper? Uh, to give that a try. And then if you <clears throat> want to try the thing, which is this incense holder. Maybe I'll put this actually here. So then you can kind of see it a little bit. Focus. You can see the tissue paper in this and what we're making. But yeah, put it in the comments if you need it. You know, if you need a miss a step. Um, so I'm going to get, um, clay going for my little flower project. You're just popping in. You can see this lovely personalized made and in the chat, um, really easy. Just some quick ingredients. Oh, I forgot the paint. You need paint Ink or a stamper. You don't use paint if you have, um, like an ink pad. Uh, I just didn't have, I think the only ink pads I have are like silver and white and that's not very fun. So I decided to do this. Okay. So what we do is, uh, the incense holder is to just make a ball. I love these colors. I just love bright colors. Bright colors are just my jam make um i have a ball here to start off my little incense holder ball i'm gonna make four three or four other smaller balls because those are gonna end up being my petals and actually if you um follow instagram or if you'd like to give me a and i posted like a little tutorial for how to do for how to make this um incense holder so if something you can always get the tutorial uh, pulling up some balls rolling up my balls of clay um yeah i just roll them up and then i'm trying to create my own I also have um, like one of the school incense holders that if you're not into the idea of this incense holder, you could also make, hold on, let me grab, um, I was also making little mushrooms to, to like go around where the incense goes. So that's another, um, idea if you're not into this particular flower idea you have some options okay let me show you here. So I just have some balls that I'm making, like all my little, all these little balls are gonna be petals on my, um, petals on my flower. Okay, here we go. And you'll see I have one big ball and then I'm gonna make a couple of other little ones. 
in order to achieve my little flower shape. <clears throat> mm. Okay. So what I'm going to try to do, I'm going to use, um, if you have like a little rolling pin or something, you could use that. I'm just going to use this little bottle and I'm going to flatten out a couple of these little balls in order to make little petals. So this is kind of the petal that I'm going to have for my flower. And then I'm just going to put it on here like the, just wrap it around the ball. Can you see that? Oh yeah, you can see. I'm just going to wrap it around the ball like this and then give the outer edge like a little pinch to give it the shape. So you can see mine has like, I pinched it all around so then it gave it that fun shape. And you can make yours as big or as little as you wanted. Um, but yeah, so I'm just gonna keep doing that all the way around this little ball is essentially the, the idea. Um, and if you're just popping in, I also did like a little tissue paper in the chat, I have the, um, how you do it, but it's really, it's so easy. It's just paint and, you know, some cut up kitchen sponges and you can make your own personalized wrapping paper, tissue paper, um, whatever you want. So, yeah. Um, oh, yay. Love watching crafting. You should check out, I have a YouTube channel called Highly Crafty. Um where I do lots of crafting and I have, I'm a comedian. And so I have comedian friends come craft with me. So I have a couple episodes with my friends. Oh, you follow me on Instagram. Oh, yay. Yeah. And I also mentioned if you follow me on Instagram, that's another way to see this um, craft. If you're not ready to, you know, get your craft on right now, you can also follow me on Instagram because this is a craft that I did there too. And I haven't done the tissue paper on Instagram, but Looks like I'll have to because I like it a lot. And I think it's fun. Personally, tissue paper, who doesn't want that? Right? So I'm just making all these little balls. I'm just making a bunch of little balls. And then I'm rolling them out to be petals. And I'm going to make my flower. Make my flower all beautiful. And I painted it afterwards. I didn't have gold clay. So I just painted mine gold afterwards. Um... But you can also just leave yours. Like, I don't know what color your clay is. You could use colored clay and then you wouldn't have to worry about painting it. So, yeah, I'm just rolling these out and then I'm going to put my petals on. And I'm not uh, one to worry about little imperfections, like if it breaks or anything, whatever. It's fine. <laughs> It'll look good in the end. I think crafting is about just having fun and enjoying what you're making. Not necessarily being perfect. I'm saying that for my own benefit. <laughs> sometimes I forget. Okay. So there's the first, the inner layer of my flower. My flower, yeah. Be like my flower. Okay. So I'm just going to make it. And I um, made mine flat on the bottom just so then it stands up better. Like it can stand up on its own. Yeah, I guess you could make, I don't know. I don't think a round bottom would, would stand up as well probably. Um, but yeah, so I just kind of always flatten mine on the bottom to make sure that it stays, uh, stands up. So that it'll stand up when I put my incense in there. And oh yeah, when you're doing, if you do decide to do the flower, um, hello, how I did it like this. Then I went in between, like when I was adding on my extra layers, I went in between. Does that make sense? Oh gosh, I don't know. Um, but I went in between where they where the flower petals overlapped. So I didn't do the flower petals in the same spot. I tried to alternate where they went and keep them. Um, Pressed out. Okay, there we go. Go back. And I want to say you're going to need, like, I just do my petals as I go so then my uh, clay doesn't get all dried out and weird. Um, so I would do, like, for each layer, I did three or four petals. 
and I would just roll out another one. I'm just gonna roll it out. Roll out. Roll out. Like everything I do reminds me of a song lyric. Roll up. Okay, so I got another layer on. And I'm using air dry clay. Um, if you, you, you can use whatever you have, like air dry clay, kiln clay, whatever you got. Use it up. Okay. I'm going to add a couple more petals and just fluff it out a little. Okay, so you can see I'm just adding some more layers to make the, to really give it that petal, like, you know, flower, flower effect. And yeah, like I said, this would be a good idea for a mushroom too, if you wanted to use that, like make a little mushroom holder. You might have to have something to catch at the bottom and make a little plate for it to go into. Maybe we'll do that too right now. Because I'm almost done with my flower. I'm going to make a couple more petals. And then we let it dry. And I might even make these for my Etsy shop because I really enjoy how they turn out. Especially when you paint them. They look very nice. And they're functional. Which is great. Good. Okay. And I'm making sure the petals kind of fan out just so that it can catch the catch the incense. I think I'll do one more layer. Make a couple more bones. And yeah, I said it. Um, air dry clay, but yeah, if you have kiln, kiln clay, I don't know. If you have clay that needs to be baked or whatever, any kind of clay will work for this. I just use air dry because that's what I had. And if you don't have clay, you can actually make air dry clay um, out of glue and lemon juice and olive oil. Um, if you Google it, homemade air dry clay. That's another option for you. So if you have those ingredients, then you have air dry clay, which I found out as most moms do when I wanted to do something, I was in a pinch and I was like, oh, we don't have clay, but I made it work. Cause I made some, okay. Ooh, I'm getting there and I'm liking it. All right, so I'm almost there. Just making a couple more balls for my petals. Balls, yeah, balls to turn into petals. I don't know. Petal balls. <laughs> okay. Got that. I'm going to roll these. Okay. Feel like I'm getting there, getting the shape that I want. This will go here. And really, I'm just like layering, layering, and layering, and layering to get this uh, effect and to have something for the incense to fall into. Because that's another thing, you want to make sure that you make it wide enough for your incense to actually fall into it. and not onto whatever table you have. You could also always make a tray, like a little tray to attach your flower to, um, or a saucer, a saucer, and attach your this to a saucer so then you have extra coverage for your incense so it don't fall all over the place. Okay. Okay. See, so there we go, getting more 
more flowery look. And what I did, you can take a toothpick and stick that in the middle. Um, I made sure mine went down fairly deep so that the uh, incense can really sit down in there and not be all wobbly and going all over the place, leaning or anything. So you wanna make sure it's fairly deep. And see my little hole in the middle. And I also am gonna do some little um, little texture holes at the top, just, you know, cause water's got texture, yeah. Okay. So that is looking really good. And we're just gonna take, I'm gonna take a little bit off the bottom of this. In there. So this is my little clay incense holder, little flower. Boom, boom. It'll just sit like that. Um, and once it's dry, I will paint it. Um, like I painted this one gold. However, maybe with this next one, I'll try, you know, some multi, multi colors and I'll just pop my extra clay back in here. And now I think I'll actually make some more tissue paper because it's really cute, actually. I'm really into it. Okay, make sure that's all drying. So this is, I'm just gonna, in case you didn't see, here's my tissue paper. Let's see if it's dry, if my first page. Oh yeah, this is not all the way. But the ones I think that turned out best are the ones that are a little bit lighter. But honestly, the mushroom is my favorite. I'm really into that. Okay, so I'm going to make another sheet. Bring this over here. Okay. Okay. Let me get this. You can also always hand paint, too, if you're into that sort of thing. I'm not exactly a great artiste. But if you are, you can always hand paint. Okay. Got my tissue paper. And this tissue paper that I'm using has like a shiny side and a matte side. I'm using the matte, um, the matte side just because I think that would be easier. Matte finish. And I've got my paint on my plate. I'm just going to swirl, give it another fresh swirl. Through. And then we're going to dab. I'm just going to kind of dab and take some of the extra. Oh. <laughs> oh, of course. It just jumped out of my hand. Okay. Let's give it a dab. A dab, a dab. Okay. I'm going to do some skim, skim, skim. I think I'm going to experiment this time with doing different, stamping it different ways. I'm so glad I decided to do the mushrooms. I was just going to do the leaves, but I'm really, the mushrooms are actually my favorite. They look really good. Like the different colors. Very psychedelic. Got my little stampies. <laughs> I'm so pleased with myself. Okay. I think maybe this will just be mushroom. Now I need someone to send something to. Something psychedelic looking. Yeah, it's 
this one is. I think I'm almost done and I'll show you how this one turned out. And then I think I'm going to put hearts too, but maybe I'll do different colored hearts this time. And we'll do like little, little green hearts. So there's my little mushroom stamps. So this is all my little tissue paper, my little mushroom stamps. Doot, doot. Yay! <laughs> Okay. <clears throat> Wait, let's see what is happening. Paint the paint on the stamp to give a color difference. Oh, that's a really good idea. Painting the paint onto the stamp. I love that. What a good idea. I'm all for that. I'm all for improvements, you know. Okay. Um, let's see. So now I'm going to do my heart. I got my little heart. Okay. I don't know what happened. Oh, there. I'm, for some reason, it was weird. Okay. Um, so now I'm going to do my little hearts. I think that because I used so much pink, I'm going to make orange and like yellow hearts, maybe. Maybe some. Maybe orange. I don't know if I want orange or yellow. I think I want orange. Pink and orange is a really good combination. So I think I'm going to do orange hearts. Oop, that's a lot. Pink and orange. Okay, there we go. That's a good combo. Okay. These cork stamps are nice too. So yeah, if you have corks and you want to make... These are good for, you know, really little things. Like, um... But like, you know, if you want to make little hearts or um, if you have a really good X-Acto knife or like a really good sharp small knife, then you could definitely do all kinds of shapes in your cork. But my knife game is not that strong. So I just did a little heart and I'm into it. And it works for what I need today. I'm just going to try this is fun too just stamping things well, who knew stamps could be so fun this is great <laughs> okay okay so I got my orange hearts happening, my pink psychedelic mushrooms are happening. It's really coming together. Yeah, so this is a really good little craft to do if you just ever, you know, kind of want to zone out. It's really great for a sativa, you know, get yourself a sativa if you're microdosing. I've only microdosed a couple of times, but... It very much gave me a, you know, I wanted to do things. I wanted to get tasks done. I liked it. And this is great for that. Ooh, I like it. I think I'm going to add some green, too. Just because I need a little, I feel like it needs a little green. So here, I will show you guys how it's looking right now. Ooh. So there you can see the, the little mushrooms all over. I, I really, I'm so happy that I did the mushrooms. I was only going to do the leaves and the mushrooms actually my favorite. Um, yeah, so let me, okay, hold on. Let me check this.
chat. Oh, there they put links. Up. Um, and if you you um, are just popping in, or just to kind of, I guess, recap, um, you can always. Oop, there it goes. Okay. Um, to do these uh, projects, you just need some tissue paper. So for yeah, the wrapping paper, you can use tissue paper, um, packing paper, regular paper, tape together, whatever you got, and you stamps out of little sponges um, from home. Like this is what I had. I also had um, like from like I made cushions uh, for like a bench. You could that would make a good stamp. Anything like that, you just draw out your design and cut it out of your little sponge, and then that's your stamp. And so this is the first one that I made, which, look at the, I mean, how cute it? Don't you love it? Um, so yeah, you can do that. And I also made, had one stamp, not stamps, one, made from a cork. So that's another option if you'd like to use a cork to stamp. And then, yeah, you can just stamp away and make your own little tissue paper. I did tissue paper. You could make wrapping paper. Um, yeah, whatever you heart desires. You know what I mean? Um, but I hope that, yeah, and we also, oh, I, want, I don't want to forget about um, our incense holder. If you want to do the incense holder, you just need a little clay. This is the one that I worked on today. I'll show you how it, it's like this right now. Um, once it dries, then I'll paint it, put my incense in there. It'll be awesome. So yeah, I just, I hope you had fun and I hope you um, learned something maybe, or, you know, just enjoyed hanging out. And, um, and subscribe to my YouTube and you can see um so many other crafts so yeah thank you and god crafting with me and yeah do a craft it will make you feel good <laughs> thanks